my name's Oliver and I'm going to take you through some of the great new features in version 3.5 of Screen Monkey. One of the most notable changes in version 3.5 are is the extra two layers. Um, we've added an extra video layer and also an audio layer. The advantage with having a separate audio layer is that it doesn't display to the screen. So when you're playing uh, music files, it doesn't dis show up on your display. Um, so I'm just going to play this audio clip here. And um, as you'll notice, it doesn't output to the screen. But if I put this on layer one, you can see it on the screen. Uh, obviously, to turn it off, we need to activate the audio layer and then click clear. Another th new change to Screen Monkey is Rotate and Flip. Uh, you'd have just seen there, um, if I play this one on layer 1, um, the video, the layer is actually l rotated by a few degrees. Uh, this can be set in the Display Profile settings, so if I go to Settings and edit my custom Display Profile and select layer 1, You'll see down here you've got the rotation property, so you can specify a rotation of 34 degrees and it will rotate the layer. Um, you can also flip the layer, um, basically a mirror, mirror image um, for things like um, auto prompts or auto cues. Uh, so you've got a choice between vertical, horizontal or both um, and flipping the image effectively. The scribble crib clip is quite a fun little clip that you can use to draw on the screen or annotate video text uh, images. So I'm just going to get started by um, adding a scribble clip. So if we add a new clip and uh, when you first play the, script, uh, the clip nothing actually really happens. Um, I can select a pen so I can go uh, thickness of the pen and select the colour of the pen and now I've selected my pen I can start drawing on the screen with the mouse. You can either draw directly on the screen or um, you can draw in the preview window so I can select a rectangle and draw on the preview window and this is mirrored onto the live output. The text clip is a very simple clip which um, basically displays text to the screen. So I'm just going to add a text clip and as soon as you add a text clip it opens up the um, the editor window where I can um, type my um, text in here. So I'm just going to type Screen Monkey Tutorial. Um, and I'm the author so I'm Oliver Waits. And You'll see that the preview window updates to show you um, what um, text you're inputting. You can also change the template on the right um, and you can select different templates. So I can select a normal template which just has main text in or I can set the custom template I in inputted earlier. Once you're happy with your text, just OK. And when, when you run the clip, the text will appear on the screen. Uh, you probably want to change the display options. For captioning video, you probably want to set the background to none. So if we set the background to none. Um, and the display options allow you to s change all sorts of uh, different bits of the, the, the template. Um, we can add new text areas. So you can go add a text area here. And we can move it around by changing the margins so I can um, set the margins here to 50% for example so it appears in the top half of the screen. Um, once we've set that if we then go back and edit our clip you'll see that the, the, the extra text area appears here so I can add some text um, to this uh, for example the date and that appears in the display editor we can also save this as a template um, so if I click here on the, the save button actually no click new and then type my template in 
um, and then if I save that now that will then be saved to template one and then when I add a new text clip I've got the option of selecting the template I saved earlier and the original template was saved is, is as it was before The Clone Clip is a feature available in the Pro Edition of Screen Monkey, which you can purchase from the online shop. It duplicates the output of one layer on another layer. So let me just add a Clone Clip here. Once we've added it, if we right click on it, we have the option to specify a source layer. So I'm going to select layer 3 because I want to duplicate whatever appears on layer 3. And then if I run this clip on layer 3, which you can just see, and select layer 2. When I run the clone clip on layer 2 it will output the same thing that's happening on layer 3 on layer 2. Okay. But the clone clip be goes beyond just simply duplicating a layer. Uh, as you have channel options you can select what channels you want to duplicate. So I can select the red channel and in this instance, probably nothing will happen because the red's not outputting. However, if I select the blue channel, we should be able to see what it effectively does. So now, the blue colour is being duplicated on layer 2. When you're uh, doing keying with production switches, uh, this can be a very useful feature because um, I can select alpha keying and if I um, now run on layer 3 something with alpha so this is just some text you'll see what I mean so the alpha appears as black and white and a lot of vision mixes will accept this as a keying and produce very nice keying so the clone clip can all be used for duplicating the output of one layer onto another layer and for creating a key layer which you can use for production switches to um, create overlays. The pixel mapper, another pro version feature is used for displaying the output of Screen Monkey onto LED or DMX controlled fixtures. Uh, to enable the pixel mapper you have to go into settings and select the display renderer. Now we're on the standard display renderer at the moment. I can select the pixel mapper renderer. And when I do this um, I get a black screen which represents the output of Screen Monkey and then I get some red dots and the red dots are pixels of that image that are mapped to DMX channels or LED fixtures. If I click on edit I can now edit the position of those fixtures. So this might be a fixture with four cells so four RGB cells for example and I can drag these around and put them anywhere on, on my map. Um, it's really easy to create uh, these groups you just click, uh, click on the group tool and then drag out an area and then once I've created a group I need to add a cell to it and I just click on here and assign my cells. Um, once we've clicked on them we can just type in a DMX address for example 50 and enter and that will then assign that to DMX address 50 and then it'll be 54 and now we have a group with four cells outputting on DMX channels starting at 50, 54, 57 and 60. So if you plug um, via Artnet some DMX fixtures in on those channels they will represent the pixels. Now the um, if I just zoom out with the, with the wheel on here you can see the area um, um, and right click to uh, move around here you can see the area, okay? This represents the output of Screen Monkey. I can change this area, and this effectively changes the amount of pixels that we have to map to. Once I'm happy with my map, I just close this window, and you can see the, the previews updated here. 
now we can display something and um, as the, the clip comes down you can see the uh, the cells uh, mapping to the pixels we could also run a video for example and that's a basic introduction to the pixel mapper